all right man i'm back at it again this is josh with another one of you wave banger man so make sure y'all go downstairs like the video turn on post notifications subscribe to the channel for more content like this because i'm gonna have more bangers it's pretty much a marathon so you don't want to miss this you feel me because i'm gonna have more videos more game you know what i'm saying more topics so let's get into it this is a very very important video so i'm gonna get serious you feel me but this video is going to be about losing wave progress after a cut, man. This is such an important topic. This is a, such an important question. This is something I get asked a lot and how to cut down on that. Like, what should you do? How to get into it? So I'm really going to break it down to you guys. So that way you guys can do it. You understand it and you're going to be goaded. You know what I mean? Like, you don't get it to the uh, get it to the T on this. So I'm really focused on this. I really want to tell you guys what to do and uh, I want to get right into it. So first things first, we really want to get into the cut length. You know what I'm saying? Like this is personal preferences. This is really what you want to do. This is how you want to like kind of like a trial and error to figure out what you like, what you don't like, and then how you want your hair to look and how you don't want it to look, man. So just going into the right barber is also important too. That's also key. But just knowing what type of look you are going for is so, so very important. And then because if you know that, you'll be able to tell your barber, okay, this is how I want it to look. This is how I need it to be can you do this or not bro like if you can't cut it like this let me know so i can go to somebody else obviously they're not going to tell you they're just going to cut but you know what i mean kind of just see what their their previous cuts look like you know what i mean that's very very important too but you know what i'm saying understand the cut length like figuring out what type of haircut too like if you want to do a drop fade if you want to do like a high fade like mine or if you want to do like like a military type haircut like it's all really up to you that's why i really love videos of making like wave videos and everything because everybody has their own style and preference so just knowing that before you sit down in a chair and pay money is so important so just knowing that all right this is what i like this is what i'm going for let's go through with it and then if i don't like it, i know i can change it like in a couple weeks or like a couple months or whatever like that just kind of working with it so um that's very very important knowing that so just knowing what type of haircut you need that fits your personality and fits you personally so knowing that is important is key next thing man okay so i always say getting a haircut is pretty much graduation because it's going to show everything you've been doing up to that point you know what i'm saying it's going to show your routine it's going to show if you're really spending like that if you're not spending like that the cut is really the determinant factor bro so i'm gonna tell you that right now if you're not putting the work in a cut not gonna make your ways better a cut is really just gonna expose you you know what i mean like cuts expose people all the time like like let's say different types of waivers younger waivers older waivers newer waivers elite waivers man it just really sets you apart when you were in the chair getting the cut and you see waves just busting out every time the barber is like cutting your hair bro every time it fall hair falls on the floor is wavy you know what i mean that's how you want it so in order to get to that point you gotta make sure your routine is tight bro like i'm talking about something you gotta make sure you want your do-rag every night you gotta make sure you're doing your you do you real tight your routine you know what i mean you're doing your thing you're doing your brush sessions you're doing your right products you know what i'm saying you got the right brushes and everything like that that really sets you apart man like when i really tell you guys make sure you have the hard medium soft brush i'm not telling you that just so i can just sell you a brush or something like that or sell you to get somebody else's brushes or something like that like no man you gotta have that because your cut is gonna be at different lengths bro so you got to be able to maintain each length you know what i mean you can't really skip that because it's gonna show when you get a cut so that's what i'm saying it's like graduation man whatever you do is gonna show up so remember that keep that in, in um in mind so it's like before i get a cut be like yo am i ready for graduation well i'm cat you feel me it's gonna show you it's gonna tell it's gonna tell bro i see it all the time so after this bro understanding that when you don't upgrade your products like if you don't upgrade your brushes if you don't upgrade what you're doing like your routines as you move forward the longer you have waves that's how you kind of plateau that's how you don't move forward so knowing that okay if i started with this product when i was a beginner and you're progressing and you're not changing the products or you're not getting something that's better it's going to hold you back like a lot of times people you really don't see like okay progress and you don't see yourself being stagnant but like noticing like hey I'm really not changing my wave pattern. Like I'm really not getting a better wave pattern. Like it's something you have to realize, is this something more that I can do? Is it a better product out there? Is this something I should try? So 
upgrading progress products is important man like understanding like hey i may need a better brush you know what i'm saying like understanding like hey i may need a better leave-in conditioner i may need a better pomade like you always want to progress and you don't want to hold yourself back so realize that you want to invest into good products that's going to last long and it's going to get you to the next step like really realize that really get into that because this is your hair you know what i'm saying but this is a part of you at the end of the day like it's an investment in you so you want to make sure you're getting something that's not holding you back it's getting you to the elite level or getting you to a better level or even give you to the best level of the people that's around you you know what i mean like not saying it's a competition but at the end of the day like people want to see good waves people are always checking for wave checks and stuff like that so you just want to be ready you just want to be prepared so just keep that in mind like even if you don't have the money yet or that money now just realize that okay this is something that's important to me this is something i want to invest in so this is something i want to buy like invest into later you know you don't have to get it now but it's like this is something you want to be thinking about because if not your ways may stay the same your ways now may not be as good or worse somebody might pass you up you feel me like somebody might be able to get onto like the wave um the wave trend or whatever like that and they may be able to put more work into you like um into like their waves and they may surpass yours you know what i mean so you don't really want that and you, you know what i mean people notice it people be like okay well i like this person way is better you know what i mean so just the, to stop that just make sure you are upgrading your products and getting the right stuff because you're not always a beginner like you may not notice it you are progressing so realize that and understand that you need to have the best products out so the next thing is realizing mistakes quickly like your personal mistakes mistakes that you make everybody's gonna make mistakes in it but understanding like what you need to work on like what's something that you're not good at like for me okay we don't get into it for me so something for me especially when i was first starting was like i didn't really think that i needed a really good brush like it was like i made videos on it it's actually up on my channel like where i was like yo you don't really need these crazy type brushes and because of that mentality it held me back so much to the point where it's like i don't want you guys to do the same thing i want you guys to be able to invest into it and surpass me like i definitely want that because you know what i'm saying if you guys are waving and you guys are doing good then i'm doing good you feel me because i feel like i gave you like some good tips or whatever that can help you so i go i say all that to say just to say like you want to make sure you are noticing what you're messing up on bro because it's like ignorance is bliss like it may feel good like all right i don't need to do all this extra stuff or whatever like that but at the end of the day somebody's beating you or there's better ways out there so you don't want that man just make sure that you are noticing that and you're fixing them and uh that's where i'm going to my next point my last point is just fixing the mistakes that you do have you know what I'm saying? It's one thing to realize that, okay, I'm making a mistake on this, but being able to fix it is a whole different type of ball game. It's a whole different type of beast because once you understand where your patterns are of like, okay, I'm not fixing this or I want to fix this. I want to become better at this. You can figure out how to get your pattern to the next level, how to get your pattern like a more like more rings, more elite, you know what I'm saying? Better, better status, how to not lose as much progress. So understanding like hey i may need to brush more than the average person right or i may need to use a better pomade than the average person or i might need a better brush than the average person like understanding that and doing it and fixing it is definitely going to help you get to the next point and get better ways bro like get to the point where it's like you know the sun out and it's just like you just spinning right it's like that's like the best feeling but like getting to that point where it's like you know what I'm saying you spin it for no reason bro it's lit bro it's like it's like it's a different feeling everybody's looking everybody's checking it out like yo what's going on so understanding that and just getting that down pack is going to help you progress quickly like get to elite quickest is quicksand you feel me so no nah, probably faster than that but it's going to help you get to elite quick so just understanding like you fixing mistakes is going to set you apart bro and it's going to get you the results that you want and then also too when you get a cut it's going to show all the work you've been putting in so just realizing that and understanding everybody has a thing that they can work on but you understanding you personally what you need to work on is a whole different thing so just really do that you know what i'm saying even ask too you can ask me you can ask other people and everything like that just be like hey like what do you think about waves like what do you think like or 
you know, especially somebody who has ways, if you ask them, like, what's something I can work on, they're going to have a better perspective because they see a lot of ways they have them and they can be like, all right, this is you have forks or, hey, you need to work on your brushes and everything, man. So just know that, man. And then if you put everything together like that, you won't lose progress and you're going to have a better cut each time. And when you do that, you're going to have wolf better. So your ways are going to become deeper and, you know, what I'm saying more pronounced and better and everything like that. So. That's pretty much the end of the video. Just want to give you all those, those quick tips, but also very, very good tips. And then, uh, you know what I mean? I want to make sure it was all in one video. Feel me? So you ain't want to have to watch like 20 videos to get this information. But that's the end of the video, man. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Like the video. Turn on post notifications. Ask me any questions. And I'll see you in my next video. I appreciate it. And I'm out.